So image to video, one of the biggest issues you've had so far is that if you turn the head or if there's really much movement at all, everything just distorts and it's really bad. And I think Create AI might be on the right path to completely solving that or to be the best option to be able to do an image to video. Uh, they just launched it today, so obviously they have a lot of bugs to work out and it will only get better. And it's, I believe the... Um, I think it's 568 by 568 for a one uh, one to one aspect ratio. So not the greatest quality, even though you can use some upscalers and I think that'll kind of help out a little bit, but it does work out pretty well. This is what I got in the beginning and I'll kind of show you uh, what I've found on it so far. Uh, so not bad. Oops, I haven't, uh, haven't finished that yet. I just, I'm going to extend it to five um, seconds. So on this it's kind of not showing the end there but it's not not bad there's still some flickering um i don't think we're really anywhere close to getting rid of that 100 percent. but the great thing is we're not seeing a lot of distortion in the face and this is only at 15 frames per second so if you use a frame interpolator uh, you can make this just a little bit smoother too um, and I think the more images you use, if you're using this almost like a video to video, uh, right here, I've used five images and then I went, so I went uh, image one, two, three, four, five, and then I went back, I think three and then one. And I think it's going to, I think it turns out pretty well. So let's generate this video again. And this is only available, it's beta right now. It's only available to max users right now. So uh, it's a little bit spendy per month. I would say $50 a month, I think something like that. I, I got in, uh, I was an early adapter. So I'm in, a, in, in on it at $30 a month right now. But we'll kind of see how this goes. Okay, so it's right now, that's just the initial render on it it is enhancing right now so it will look better than this and with any kind of now i'm kind of almost looking at this like frame interpolation and then also um it is of course adding some ai to it for the individual images but a lot of its frame interpolation so you really got to be careful like if one pose introduces parts of the body that another image doesn't have frame interpolation is really going to have issues with that. So when you're doing the initial renders, and I did the, these are Daz Studio renders and actually texture renders, not even full iRay renders. So they were really, really quick to do. Um, so we'll see, and it did a pretty good job. If we notice, we've got, if we look at when the, it's, if you look at this first image, it is, um, that's actually her stomach, not her arm there, but this is obviously taking that as we move this, it's taking that, um, skin that's down there in the right corner as her arm. So when it's switching to this, um, it's given her kind of a, almost a sleeveless into a sleeve. So we do have a little bit of issues with that, but if we look at the motion and in particular, the face, even though there's flicker, don't get me wrong, there's absolute flicker. And I think... Uh, hopefully it'll get a little bit better as it goes and i may try later uh, as i experiment on this with maybe just uh more frames um and see how that goes uh see if it's even smoother uh, but for right now the flickers there but we're not getting a bunch of distortion in the face which if you use pika labs or uh runway um, and I haven't used either one of those in months because I just wasn't at all happy uh, with any kind of movement at all uh, with image to video. Um, you get those pretty bad in those applications. So I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about it, though. Um, is this a good path forward on the image to video? Um, or do you think that there's some better options out there? And uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. And uh, that's all I got for right now. Probably as I play around with this, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably upload another video later today. We'll kind of, we'll kind of see what happens.